The buzz around this Wellington neighborhood was definitely Catherine Defoe's house, or more precisely, what was clinging to it. I am frightened, yes. I'm frightened more for the kids of the neighborhood. Catherine only realized this huge bee colony was here when she heard a thumping sound about a week ago and came outside to find some neighborhood kids throwing their shoes at the front of her house. I asked them, why are they doing such a thing? Because the trees had blocked my vision. And they said, well, we're after the bees. At which point, I nearly dropped. <laughs> the first person she called took one look and said no way could he handle it. Then she called beekeeper Brian Moore. When I saw it at first, you know, I, I thought I was coming for an average bee removal. This is um, way above average. In fact, Moore, with over 12 years in the business, says this colony was one of the largest he had ever seen. He got to work using smoke to pacify the bees, but as you can see, that didn't do a whole lot. Then he cut into the roof and used a vacuum to suck the insects out. Thousands of them. What I see on the outside is maybe 80,000, 90,000 bees. I don't know what's inside. You know, there could be another 80 or 90,000 bees inside. When he was done, Moore had removed over 150 pounds of honeycomb, 10 to 12 feet of it, a foot and a half thick. He estimates the hive had been there growing for about two years. Dangerous at this size. And once they, they get disturbed, they can be very aggressive. You don't know what kind of bees they are, whether they're Africanized or if they're just European bees.